Hi guys, welcome to this session. In today's session, we are going to talk about Google Merchant Center account inside our Google Ads account, which we use for creating shopping campaigns. In the last session, as we spoke that in order to create a shopping campaign, the first thing which you will require is a Google Merchant Center account, which is nothing but a online inventory system in which we upload all our product details and then we link this Merchant Center account with our Google Ads account to create a shopping campaign. So let's look at this account and we'll also see the opening process of this. So you can mention the particular Merchant Center account here. And this is going to be the website guys where you have to come and sign up and open an account. Now this is a mer merchant account so only companies which have a running e-commerce business they would be able to go ahead and open this account. So in the sign up process you will, they will ask you a couple of details regarding what is your company name, your website URL, where you do the business. So you have to provide all that information and then you have to accept their terms and conditions and in the last page they will ask you to do verification and claiming. Verification and claiming is basically a stage where Google wants to confirm that you are the actual owner of this website. So in order to do so, they will give you a particular programming code which needs to be pasted in your website and they can verify that you are the legitimate owner of the website and only then this account will be opened. So we'll see a account, a merchant center account, how it looks like from within now and we'll see how to upload our product details inside this. So let's have a look and also we will see that how you can link this account to our Google Ads account. So we can go on get started. So here you can see it is saying set up your merchant center account. So now it is straight away logging into my merchant center account which I had created for training purposes. So this is how a merchant center account will look like this. Okay, this is the overview page. And now the first thing which we will have to do is we have to upload our product details for which you can go to the left panel in products and these product details are called feeds guys. So we'll go to feeds. So here what we are going to do first is we will have to generate a Google empty spreadsheet in which we are going to upload all our product details. So with this plus button you can generate a spreadsheet. They will ask you from common details like country of sale. They can give your language and then you can continue. Here you can give the name to the sheet and then you can continue. And now the system is going to create a new sheet for us. Once the sheet is created, you can click on create feed. And this will create a new sheet and we will get to open that. Once you open the sheet guys, it is going to look like this. So we will try to understand what are these details which they are asking us to provide. The first one is ID. ID means product ID. So when you do businesses, there is obviously you maintain a repository of your products and each product will have a unique ID number. It can be a numeric number, it can be alphanumeric. So that number which you have to provide out here. Title means the name of the product, whatever product you are selling, you can give the name of it here. Description, so you have to give a description of the product which will be part of the shopping ad. So you can provide that here. Link is basically the landing page of the product. When people click on the ad, they should be taken to the product page. So we would need the URL of that page here. Condition is basically the condition of the product. It's a new product, used product, refurbished. So you have to mention that over here. Price of the product, which you can provide here. Availability means, is it in stock, out of stock, pre-order? So you have to provide the availability status. Image link is basically link of the image. Now, whenever we design a product page, we have an image of the product there which is basically a link which is embedded in coding. So you can ask your programmer or coder to provide the link of that product image. 
G10 is basically global trade item number which you can provide. So whenever we do business in any country, we need to register our business with that country. And when we do so, we are provided with a G10, a global trade item number. So you, have, you can go ahead and provide this information here. MPN means manufacturer part number. So if you are into a business where you deal with a lot of SKU or MPN numbers products, then you can provide the MPN number for your products here. Then comes brand. So you can give the name of the brand of your product in this particular column. The last is Google product category, which is basically Google maintains a specific repository of all the products. And what you can do is you can go to that repository and you can search for your product and you can provide the number associated. So let me show you how this will look like. So this is called a taxonomy guys. Now you can see this is a long list of products which Google has created which they call as taxonomy or Google product category. So now what you can do is you can search for your product over here. Let's say I am into a business of selling laptops. So I can mention laptop like this and it is going to search the sheet for laptop. And here you can see it is highlighted. So we will go to the number associated with it. We are going to copy that and put it out here. Like this, for all the products which you will want to run with shopping ads, you have to mention the number out here. So these are the kind of details which we will have to fill in the sheet. Let me show you some sample examples of how the data will look like. So here now you can see the product ID number, then you can see the title, the name of the product, then this is the description of the product, condition of the product, new, price of the product written in this format, then this is the availability status, this is the link, the landing page, this is the image link which we were talking about, and now G10. So this is how a G10 will look like, MPN and then the brand name. So as per Google suggestion, the information which is mandatory to provide is till image link. You have to provide the data till image link which is mandatory. Post image link G10 onwards is recommended. So if you have that information, it will be good for the campaign. If not, it is not going to penalize you. So like this, we are going to fill all the information guys. And then we can come back to our Merchant Center account. And here, the only work which is left for us to do is going to be that we have to link this to our Google Ads account. In order to do so, you can go ahead and click on this tools icon. And here you can go under settings to the fifth option which is linked accounts and in you in this linked accounts you can go to link account where you can send the request for linking you can mention the 10 digit number of your google ads over here and you can send the request after sending the request you can log into your google ads and from there, you can do the same thing. You can go to the tool section, go to linked accounts, you can go to Google My Merchant Center. And over there, you can accept the request. Once you accept the request, both the accounts will be linked. So in this manner, we are going to use Merchant Center guys for uploading our product details and then linking it to Google Ads, after which we are going to create a shopping campaign. In the next video, I will show you how practically we are going to create a shopping campaign from our Google Ads account. Thank you so much guys for listening into this session today. Have a great day guys.